Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's buddy. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. That's right. Woo-hoo. And today, a very common question that yes. we get from guys, young and and older twins. Yeah, more mature. Dealing with a lack of experience with girls. Yeah. And it the question is usually couched in, hey, I've been kind of learning about game and I want to get out there. But how do I how do how do I deal with these girls knowing that I don't have a lot of experience? Right. They go, I know not to bring it up, but how do I cover for my lack of experience? But do they know not to bring it up? Well, we're gonna tell you. Yeah. So maybe two rules in the beginning. <laughs> two rules in the beginning if you lack experience with women but want to get in front of more of them. First, everybody starts at zero. Yeah. Every, where it be it if they're 13, 14, or 23, 24, mm-hmm. or 33, 34 even. Mm-hmm. Everybody starts at zero at some point. And you have to fake it till you make it. Yeah. That's the bottom Absolutely. line. I know this sounds crazy, but a lot of it does come down to having an irrational level of self-confidence as you walk into the very first meetup. Mm-hmm. Um, be it your first, th- second, third, you know, when you're just getting your feet on you. Number one is that they cannot tell that you don't have experience. Right. Girls cannot discern whether you know what you're doing or not when you're dating mm-hmm. in the beginning. If let's let's say let's start this first. Don't tell her. Don't bring it up. You know what I mean? Right. Don't bring up your lack of experience at any point whatsoever. Right. Maybe years down the road when she asks you how you became so smooth. Yeah. You can say, I faked it. Yeah. You know, that's fine. But let's get to point two of, they don't know you don't have experience. Right. Bunny, tell me where the girl's head is on a date. Well, the bottom line is, I think men vastly overestimate how much girls are paying attention to them on dates and in se- all the way through their those sexual encounters. Because the bottom line is, girls are very self-centered. Selfish. And they're worried about what they look like, what they're saying, how they're eating, if they're drinking, what they look like folded up, you know, and naked, what, you know, what you're looking at on them, you know, what you're discerning about them, and what you might be figuring out about them that they're trying to hide. There are a lot of things going on that in a girl's mind whenever they're out on a date and in a sexual encounter. And I mean, that's true even now. Like, we've been dating for for years and still whenever, you know, I'm folded up in some sexual position sometimes, I'm like, I hope he doesn't see that that roll in my stomach right there. I mean, truly, that's, that's at the forefront of girls' minds a lot. So guys can get away with faking faking it as long as you just don't bring it up because like you said everyone starts at zero and there's a little bit of a what forgiveness for what you don't know oh yeah yeah Yeah. and here's the thing it's a lot of guys think that girls are basically guys with long hair and no dick yeah you know that's not true at all they are a different species men are outwardly directed. Mm -hmm. We're always looking for either a threat or someone to impregnate or what's going on in our environment for survival. You know, it's hardwired. Whereas girls tend to be inwardly directed. Mm -hmm. They're thinking about themselves. Their feelings. Their their children, maybe. You know what I mean? That's why, because they have to raise children. A lot of it is very specifically to them. Because if they go down... The kids aren't taken care of. It's true. That's why they're so self-centered, which is okay. You know, I mean, that's you can't change that, nor should you try. But girls don't notice things that you think they notice. Right. And even if they do, they tend not to mention it. Yeah. They might bring it up years later. Well, and and a lot of us will also, unless, I will say the caveat, and we've talked about this, is there are some girls who are just out to, to... fuck things up, and to find something wrong. And they're going to no matter what. They're going to be the exception. Yeah. We're not talking about these girls. 
the girls that we're talking about are the ones who want you to win. Exactly. They are there because they genuinely want this to be the last first date they ever have. Yeah. Girls do not go into a date hoping that it will suck. Yeah. Usually the guy runs it into sucking. It's true. You know? And we, with your, the, on this podcast, you're probably savvier than 99% of the population of men in the U.S. It's true. Three, how do you kind of cover up for lack of experience? Fake it till you make it. I would suggest that girls can tell the difference. The, the one thing that changes, that is the difference between a guy with experience and a guy without. A guy with experience tends to be a little bit more dominant and bossy. True. Absolutely. So that helps you going into a date, having some logistics. Yeah. Knowing exactly where you're going, knowing what you're going to order, just making things happen. Yeah. As opposed to hoping she'll make the choice or she'll take the lead. Forget that. Yeah. That's usually the difference. I mean, because the more experience you get, the more you really do take this girl along yeah. on whatever you're doing. That's true. And when guys don't have a lot of experience, they think of it as more of an equal exchange. Mm -hmm. Or they may even try to take the back seat, which is a horrible idea. Girls don't want to be in charge of anything. No. They want you picking the venue. They want you leading the way. Mm -hmm. They want you choosing where to sit. Uh -huh. They want you leading the conversation, not about yourself, but about asking her about herself. Uh-huh. You know? And basically leading all the way through the day, all yeah. the way into bed. You've got to make the first move. She won't do it. That's true. She's hardwired, you know, not to. So that is the one thing that you can kind of keep in mind that will cover for any lack of experience is be kind of dominant, be bossy to, to a certain extent. You know, make decisions. I hate to say bossy. Some guy might take it for the wrong, you know, the wrong usage of the word. But you lead the way. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and my my book on gaining self-confidence with women, link down below, truly is 25 easy, actionable steps that you could take right now, one at a time or all at once, you know, and it just helps you fake it till you make it. It helps you do this better and more smoothly. In the beginning, your inner game or your self-confidence matters more than any other time. Yeah. Because it has to carry the ball when you don't have any experience. It's, it's Does true. Does that make sense? It's I mean, true. That's why we even say you kind of have to show up with irrational self-confidence because you haven't ever even done anything. You don't have a lot of experience to rely on. Yeah. But you're going to act like you do. Well, and that's where my book goes yeah. goes into detail so that you appear to have more experience than you do. Exactly. And that's that's the the linchpin or the the key to this whole thing. Yeah. Is confidence. Yeah. You know, that's the difference between players and non-players. And not suggesting that you don't have experience. Exactly. You know. I mean, just absolutely no way, shape, or form. Don't bring it up. Nope. And and don't apologize for it, even if even if you're doing something either on a date or in a sexual scenario that may appear to be, you know, we what weaker. Yeah. Because she doesn't notice. Just she doesn't keep notice plowing. if you doesn't if you don't point it out. Yeah. Just keep on plowing. And I and guys with experience learn that. Yeah. When they misstep. They just keep moving forward. Exactly. They say something stupid, they keep going. Exactly. You don't stop. No. Yeah. Momentum. Yeah. And she literally, they don't remember. No. You'd be amazed. It's true. Yeah. Girls don't. They want you to win. Yeah. They want you to do well. So they're pulling for you too. Yeah. They really are. They really are. Despite what... what the you horror know. stories you hear. Yeah. The, the bad dates you hear about. You don't hear about the 99... Great dates that somebody had. Absolutely. You hear about the disaster, yeah. you know. And girls don't tell about the guy that she met up with and he swept her off her feet and <laughs> she was in bed within two hours and it just happened. Unless she's marrying him. Exactly. That's exactly. the only time you're not you gonna hear, hear that story. Yeah, you're not going to hear those five dates in a row where <laughs> she got swept off of her feet and it just happened. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. those are the points because a lot of guys say, hey, you know, how do I start with this? Self-confidence. Your inner game, mm -hmm. 
not mentioning your lack of experience, two, um, faking it till you make it, and then three, just having irrational self-confidence as you move in. Now, not to make this longer than it needs to be, and this may be a whole other podcast, but I would say real quickly, from a sexual standpoint, men having to cover, you know, lack of experience, and so they're they're coming too quickly or they're feeling like they're going to come too quickly, ways that they can kind of pull back and delay that, which, you know, I think even even a girl will notice if a guy comes very, very quickly. It's a compliment and a curse at the same time, exactly. you know. Um, so, you know, stroking a little bit and then going down on her or stroking a little bit and then, you know, messing with her tits or whatever it is, but kind of delaying that ejaculation. Delaying tactics. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some other delay tactics that you can think of? Because I'm not a guy, so... But you are a sex expert. I am a sex expert. Masturbating before your date. Yeah. Takes that edge off. And it kind of helps you relax, and you don't feel like, i got to make this thing happen. Yeah. It does... I can't... I mean, that's on the podcast now. But that's generally... How would you say? That's the umbrella answer. Well, that's a universal rule. It's a universal rule. For sure. Because then when you are in there, you last longer. Sure. You, You know, that's... The general idea. Yeah. Some of these young guys, bam, 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 you know. And then two is the delaying tactic. Right. You know, just like she says, you bang for a while, you pull back, you pull out, you mess around with her. You know, sex can last longer that way. Yeah. You know, that is ideal. And I would say also from the female perspective that even if you come more quickly than you would like, Girls will forgive a lot like that if you get right back in there. That's like what I was going to say. You, you rejuvenate as quickly as you can, and you, you, know, you just can't resist fucking her again right away. And girls just remember that y'all had sex for three hours straight. Exactly. Even if it was five times. Yeah. I mean, even, if you, even if it's in the first five minutes... Don't be a one pump chump. You right. know what I mean? I right, mean, right, right. You can come back. It's like it's like you lost. It's like you're behind on the first quarter. Yeah. But there's a lot more left in the game. There really Especially is. Especially if you're a young guy. Yeah. And you bounce back quick. Yeah. You know, or you're you're an older guy and you're naturally great, or you're using drug enhancement. Yeah. Who cares? Nobody. You cares. know. Nobody. I mean, cares. no one cares, and no. no one knows. Just you're looking at the total experience. Yeah. You know. So don't don't beat yourself up uh-uh. if you do come quickly with a girl because the second time it'll last You'll longer. You'll last longer. Yeah. And truly, it's a compliment to her that yeah. she made you come that quickly. Yeah. So and you again, can play this off. Yeah. Yeah. And have a plan. Just know that. I mean, just listening to this helps guys because a lot of them, they're in that position and they're like, well, I, oh, fuck, I'm sorry. You know, and then right. well, the I came quick, and then yeah. you just kind of get up and shower and, and get leave. dressed and whatever. It's like, oh, that's not sexy at all. No. What is sexy is coming quick and then like making out and and recovering and like going. I, and some guys, that's their routine. Yeah, that's they go, like, yeah, I come quick, and then they do it again and again and again. Well, and it just gets longer and longer and longer. Yeah, yeah. so it's good that's, times. That, yeah, this podcast went way off the. The track, but it, but, but it, it all does. Fits. It's all. It it's all, all. It's all relevant it's, yeah, to the question. From, from walking in with confidence to finishing strong. Finishing strong. Finishing strong. That's hot. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, and comment below. We love to hear your stories, especially about uh, delay tactics and uh, we'll have faking to include confidence. That in your next book. That's a good idea. Yeah. That should be my next book. Anyway. Sign up for our newsletters below. Uh, We want you to win. Bye.